Hello everybody, welcome back to the Autistic Monolith Society. My name is Isaiah, and in part 6 of this um, series, I'm going to be discussing um, building the, the, the rear um, stern right here, and also adding the cargo cranes. Um, so here's the cargo crane pieces right here. So Titanic had, I think it was around eight cargo cranes in total. Um, you had, if if you actually look at this, if you actually look at the box, there's the two cranes here. There's the cranes here, and then there's the cranes here, and then there's some final sets of cranes here. Um, and I will be showing you how I basically made the cargo cranes. So the cranes come in um, basically these halves, right? They, there, is the, there is the base, there is the support structure, and then you have the, um, you have the boom, and then of course you have the, ba the, the base where they sit on. So what I'm doing is um, I'm actually going to light these cranes actually because if you either watch the movie or seen pictures of the Titanic, there's a look. Uh, some of these some of these crane these cargo cranes are lit, and um, uh, there's a little there's a little um, there's a little 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 there's a little like notch right there. Um, for the for for basically a either a, a fiber optic light or um, basically just drilling a hole and running an LED through the base, you can um, you can light these um, you can light these cargo cranes. Um, this is the this is the the rear stern deck. Um, you I've already got, I've already put in place the. Um, the ventilation cows. Here's a mechanical winch. Uh, here's the docking bridge, uh, and then here is uh, the mast, the flag, the um, the staff. Excuse me. And then of course I put some um, some cap stands here, and then of course you got the benches. Um, and actually for my first um, photo etch, I actually added the stairs uh, to the navigation bridge here. Um, so I'm going to show you how I basically light and construct these cranes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get my pin vise drill and I'm going to drill a hole um, where, where basically there's that little, that little notch there. <clears throat> I'm going to drill a hole and I'm going to have LED lights shine through it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay, so if you notice, um, I, have, I, have, whoops, I have drilled um, holes for the, for the porthole lights inside um, the base, or on the base rather. So I use a small pin vise drill, and what I did was try to make sure I can show you. Oh yeah, well, I can. What I did was wherever that little notch was, I simply just took my pin vise drill and just drilled a hole in it, like that. And of course, that is where either you can place a fiber optic strand, or you can put an LED. So like one of these. At the base, at the, at the base here, excuse me, here and here and here, and it could just basically shine through, uh, shine through the base like that. Now, I actually have already completed a couple, like at least the first pair of these. So this is these are the cargo cranes for the. Um, for the for the the front of the ship, these are the, the these are the mo the four most cargo cranes. Um, notice how a better angle. Notice how um, how I painted them. Uh, it's white 
for half the half the base, a raw sienna color for the bottom half, a dark gray for the for the um the top, and of course white for the booms. And I used um I used simple sewing thread for the uh for the for the guy ca the the um the winch cables. I use just simple um simple uh sewing thread for that. Okay. Whoops. The joys of making videos in a very small place, everybody. Sorry about that. Um so yeah, so I'm gonna um, as you can tell, uh, or sorry, as you can see, um, they come in um, different halves. So I am going to um, I'm going to uh, cement these two halves together, and I am going to uh, go ahead and install these babies, and I will see you once I'm done with that. So yep, yeah, and see you around. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, I have the fully assembled and constructed um kit. Uh the, the ship has been fully um built. And I do mean that cuz I pretty much glued the superstructure on. Um fairly big, honestly enough. It's a pretty large pretty large ship. Like I said in the first video, this is a one 350 scale right so I've already went ahead and just simply just assembled it just completely put everything together um, all the lights are inside and all the lights work um, if as you as you've seen the pictures before uh, it looks pretty good but yes there is some there is some light bleed that I need to work on and I do need to sand down some of some of the putty uh, some of the putty that I used I do need to sand that down a bit but other than that it looks fairly good um, this is my first time building a kit this big and I'm thinking I'm doing a pretty 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 good job so back to the cargo cranes okay so I've I've now painted all of them um, flat so unlike the um unlike the first the the first two cranes at the bow of the ship so right here which are white with raw sienna the cranes for but for for he, sorry the crane for here the cranes for here here and here are simply just going to be a solid white color that's basically what the instructions say a solid white color with a with a a gray the gray um with a gray top and I used a gray acrylic paint for that so um so like I said you have the base you have the you have this part I'm I'm forgetting the name and then of course you have the crane booms okay so what you what what you'll do is you'll you'll take you basically um basically uh just remove this and then remove one of your um remove one of the booms one of the cable boom sorry one of the one of the crane booms remove that It's kind of difficult to get that off. Okay, so here you have you have that, in which you would then break off 
um, one of the one of the one of the other bases here, and then as you can see, there there's both um, there's both female and male prongs to basically attach it to, uh, whether it's uh, a peg or a hole. So, like I said, female and male parts, and then of course to add the the cable that's um that's running down the length of the of the of the boom I'm going to take some basic sewing thread I'm trying to figure out where I put my sewing thread um, like it like this but except black so yeah um, notice how for that for that's basically what I used I use here I simply just use some some yarn some black yarn and basically did that so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will come and I will come back and show you the completed cranes that I've made so yep um, so now now that you have um, your your crane piece excuse me whoops now that you have your crane pieces um, taken care of what you then need to do is, since it came off of a plastic, uh, off of a pla excuse me, off of the plastic um, spruce trees, you would then take a hobby knife and just learn to basically clean clean it up like this, move the excess excess plastic from it, um, and then you're going to simply connect both halves together. Right, and um, you're going to then attach the crane, the crane boom, um, to the main assembly. Right, so you know, so here's one part. Okay. Okay, here's the other. Let me go. Let me clean this this part off a little bit. It's always good to clean off little plastic things like this because when you're when you're actually building the putting it together, these little plastic pieces of plastic could you know get in the way of actually. Um, connecting together your your part, so it's always good to clean off the little remnants of plastic left on the um left on the parts. Okay, you you then connect these two bad boys together. And you have a cargo, you have the base of a cargo crane. And then you, um, if you see on the bottom, if you see that little hole there, you're going to, you're going to place this, this arm to that. So yeah, you have one of the Titanic's cargo cranes. Actually, I snapped that on wrong. It actually goes like that. I gotta remove something, an extra plastic on the boom arm ok 
Okay. Then you go ahead and fit it in there like so. So you now have one of the Titanic's cargo cranes. And um, so then after that, you then take some black yarn and basically string it from the front of the book, the front of the crane arm uh, to the tower here. And un and unlike if you've seen in the um in the box, it's a it's more of a straight wire uh, a straight a straight wire um cable. It's really not. If you've seen the movie or if you've seen pictures of the Titanic's cargo cranes, the cables are not are not are not tensioned. It's um they're 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 more relaxed. So I'm gonna gonna do that. I'm gonna do that for all of them actually. And this guy is probably gonna go this guy is probably gonna go here. Right there. Now with now on this end here, the cranes are gonna be um, more or less like that, as opposed to like that. They're gonna be more like that. Um, same thing for the ones on the bottom, but the other ones at the, at the, near the end of the stern are gonna be more like, you know, like, like that. Okay? So, yeah, so, looking forward to that. Um, I think in the in the description it also said I about building the um the rear stern sorry or the the stern deck I've actually already done that with the um with this here I've already added the benches the cap stands um some of the some of the ventilation cows um I actually used my first photo etch Sorry, it's blurry. First photo edge for some stairs here. Some stairs. And then I have the um the staff, the jack staff. So, you know, nothing really hard really in this. Um this is the part of the model of the of the process that all the wiring is in. Um everything is pretty much the the, the hole is mostly built. Um it's just next making the lifeboats, adding the rigging, uh, and of course doing a lot of minor touch-ups. But after, other than that, um, this kit is pretty much finished, I would say. Well, am I finished? I mean the main parts of it already in. So, um, so all we gotta do now is just do the small little... Um, adding the a lot of the the accessories, uh, adding the lifeboats, of course, the lifeboats and the davits, and of course, adding the rigging for the for the masts and the funnels. Um, and of course, there, and of course, I'm going to make a video on that. But it's nice that for that I that I now have a completed a completed Titanic kit. It's no longer in panels. It, um, all the wiring has been has been put in. All the lights are in there. So, like I said, um, there are some putty stuff I got to work on. There's some um, I got to um, do some light blotting. Some of the putty is the putty I'm using is white, so I'm gonna have to paint it, paint it, paint some of it over in black, and then just go over it with the white. That should clean up some of the light problems, but of course I gotta sand the putty down first. Um, but going back to the to the stern, if you've noticed that that it, that the bridge, sorry, the docking bridge is white, I gotta fix that. I gotta um, take some um, take some um, scrap deck, some scrap wood deck, and then I have another. Um, one 350 um, navigation deck and then just trace the wood over that so I can fix that and then once that's done I can go ahead and add the um, 
You can go ahead and add the 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 navigation bridge um, wheel and also the two telegraphs, which are going to go which are going to go right there. So yeah, so that basically concludes this video. Um, like I said, we were we um, put together. Uh, basically a titanic cargo crane we went from this uh, and this and this and then um, put those together and we get that so yeah so just I'm just gonna repeat that for the next um, five cranes and yeah that the cargo cranes would be all installed so yeah so um, I hope you like this video and the next video we're going to be doing is once I get everything sanded down once I get everything um, um, once I get everything sanded down everything is light blotted everything's been cleaned up we're then going to start um, adding the accessories and that's going to, that includes um, ventilation cowlings, ventilation fans, um, the 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 compass platform that that's going to sit here, um, adding the ladders to the um, uh, to the funnels, which is which are photo etch parts. So we're going to have to do work on that, and that will be the next video. Um, accessorizing, you know, adding the window panes for the boiler water tank room here. Um, and then the next video after that will hopefully be about um, um, the rigging. And I do plan on including the lifeboats in the accessories video. So I'm probably going to do that. I was thinking about um, doing the photo edge lifeboat davits, but I'm thinking I, I kind of want to get this. I kind of want to get this model built kind of quickly. So I'm probably just going to use the original davits that I was given or the original lifeboat. Um, lifeboat davits that I was given in the um, in the kit, which are these. So it's not as intricate, um, not as intricate as the as the one as the photo etch ones they gave. Although these are much more realistic, but you know it takes a while to assemble this, and I kind of want to get this build done kind of quickly because I've been doing this for like months and months and months. So you know if. if so yeah, so I'm probably just gonna stick with the original davits and lifeboats they give they give me here, and probably just call it a call it a day, call it a day. So yeah, thanks for being with me, and I will see you for my next video.